Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, we've got temperatures that are in the low 50s in far southern Illinois. In fact, west of Springfield at Quincy, Illinois, mid 40s. 50s in parts of Iowa and 60s in Missouri. And you can almost visualize this warm air that's, being, that's punching eastward. Thing is, when it gets to our area, we've got so much snowpack, so much cold air near the ground, so the warm air can't push the cold air out of the way, so it's got to ride over the top of it. And we've got this lifting that's producing these bands of precip that we've had today, but the last hurrah is now coming through Tippecanoe County, also Remington, and uh, up here towards the Morocco area. This is all moving northeastward, and this is going to wind down, I think, by 8 p.m. Still some pretty good snow from Monticello all the way up towards Morocco, however, and total so far been running in terms of sleet and snow and just ice in general anywhere from about an inch to as much as five inches from south to north in the viewing area. But the warm air is even coming in now. It's 34 Crawfordsville. We're above freezing at Covington. It's now 31 at the station, 28 Monticello, and 27 at Logansport, 26 at Morocco. And I think we'll rise to about 32 this evening and kind of level off and then fall into the mid-20s later on tonight. Uh, pretty low overcast hanging on. The brutally cold air is pulling away. The warmth is coming in from the west, so a big meltdown is on the way, and the warmth is going to win this battle. But we've got rain and storms by late in the week. There's a severe weather potential, believe it or not, and also a flooding potential with all these ice jams and perhaps a one to two inch rainfall on the way and rapid snow melt. 44 meltdown tomorrow. A meltdown to Remington with 40, 46 Covington, and 39 degrees at Burlington. Little, little taste of spring tomorrow. Still low clouds in our area tonight. These erode away, though, by tomorrow morning. We're looking at actually a pretty nice day, mostly sunny skies. Some low cloudiness tomorrow night will give way to mostly sunny skies on Wednesday. This is Wednesday morning, and this is by Wednesday afternoon. Notice all the sunshine before we turn cloudy again Wednesday night. Temperatures kind of hover in the 40s, and then it really warms up into the 50s by Thursday. This is a strong storm system. It's very spring-like. It's going to come out of Oklahoma, move up towards Rockford, Illinois, really deep and rapidly, and ahead of this cold front and behind it, even outside of any storms. Winds may gust to 45 miles an hour, but I do think either Thursday night or into Friday or Friday night. It, it, the timing is very unclear right now, but somewhere in that time span, there'll be a little band of heavy rain and a little squall line of severe storms ahead of this cold front. It'll race northeastward and it could bring us a wind damage threat. And you know, I can't even rule out an isolated tornado threat, especially Ohio down into Kentucky once we get towards the end of the week as we warm up. That's the 55, then the 63, then falling on Friday with a one to two inch rainfall. But then it's back to 40 Saturday, 35 Sunday. The thing is, the normal high this time of year is about 40. So we're either going to be near normal or just a hair above it after that. So it doesn't look like any of this sub-zero stuff or, or where it's 2 degrees in the morning and only 10 in the afternoon. We're actually talking a 55-degree day and a 35-degree day for a change. Just getting back to normal is going to feel like a blessing, isn't it? Yeah, and today, all this icy precip and thunder and lightning we had, this was kind of the atmosphere kind of getting back to normal after all the cold. Okay, Chad, thanks. Sure. Well, a big win for the Purdue men on Saturday. Yeah, heck of a win. I don't think anybody predicted what 